Uh, good morning, everybody. Um, I'm Raja Shri Srikant, Selection Grade Lecturer from Government Polytechnic, Bagepalli. My topic today is Paths of Speech. Uh, my topic today is Parts of Speech. I know most um, you know, students, non-English students, that is, uh, those people who are not very familiar with English have a problem with parts of speech. So you don't sell all of them, but you sell these parts of speech are very Because if parts of speech are very important, your communication will be good. So these are the basic building blocks of grammar. So this is the basic building blocks of grammar. So this is the basic building blocks of easy to get. Parts of speech. These parts of speech are the eight building blocks of the English language. Namali, Eight parts of speech today. Hosa grammar, uh, the thinking is articles is also a, uh, a part of speech, but let's not uh, worry about that. For us, we have only eight parts of speech. We have verb, noun, pronoun, adjective, interjection, preposition, adverb, and conjunction. These are our eight parts of speech. Why do you need to learn parts of speech at all? They are the building blocks, blocks of English grammar. Now, any cutada cutbeko andre, yenana building cutbeko andre, other foundation irlebeko. E foundation in the you know, blocks of stone irtharalva, other meletani building cuttare. Athara namge, these parts of speech are of, is our foundation stone. So they are the building blocks of. English grammar. Understanding and applying a process is learning to learn. Andre, now we process na channa ge artha madkondo. Adan na now correct upyog sidre. Now we English bada easy ag kalt ko bhudo. Foundation to improve your writing. So most of your uh, uh, this uh, practical exam will be tre. In uh, in num uh, you know we evaluate you on the basis of what you write in the exam. And if you write correctly, you get obviously you get more marks because you are more easily understood by the evaluator. Nale angen interview ho daga you correct ag math arudre ni yen helag bais thay dira ano do aurge easy easily arth. So, parts of speech Part of speech is a noun. Now, usually, noun in the Noun another one pillar Person, place, or thing. So, noun names a person, it names a place, or it names a thing. One was to even the Vyakti Irbodu, one the Stala Irbodu, Atava Vandu was to Irbodu. Person, Mr. Sharma likes to eat spinach. Here, Mr. Sharma is a person. It is a noun. Place, Mysore is an old town. Mysore is a name of a place. Thing, a cook requires pots. Honesty is very important. Cook requires pots. Pots and pot regal beko. Adu andu vastu. Person, place, or thing. And usually, nouns answer the question what or who. Nouns are concrete, like dogs, cars, and re. Concrete and re. Nama aido five senses in the. Now, adhana perceive mar bodo. Adhana na wo note bodo, kheer kheer bodo, mut bodo, whatever. You can use your five senses to perceive the existence of this noun. So that becomes a concrete noun, as opposed to abstract. Abstract is something that you can only experience. Adan anubhavus bohudu ashte. But adana noda ke mutta ke ala agudilla. Abstract, like anger, liberty, friendship, yivalla na wo anubhavus bohudu. 
you can experience anger you can experience liberty or freedom you can experience friendship so these are abstract nouns then you have again common nouns like puppies best mother even love common nouns proper nouns like anita charma iit natka even la proper nouns like to and please make a note baryavaga nau capitals upyogisodilla but proper nouns baryavaga yavaglo we start with a capital letter names of persons places things feelings ideas these are all nouns usually indicated by noun markers articles nav yen upayogistivi a and the idana nav noun markers antanu karitivi noun markers yake andre usually article aadmele one noun barutte aagi takshane barade irabohudu article aadmele one adjective hakibittu nav noun hakitivi but noun munche usually articles irutte so you uh, identify the parts of speech anta helt keltivalla avaga ee article aadmele usually one noun idde irutte anta adannu pudukobodu nivu example the boy on the red bike hit a bird with a rock at the end of the long road so ivaga the is an article the is an article a bird a is an article a rock a is an article the end the is an article the long road the is an article noun endings usually abstract nouns galu n e s s m e n t a n c e e n c e a n c y e n c y i t y i o n u o r e ee tara endings inda end agu agu agutte for example happiness is the preference of every action and is the tendency towards kindness and contentment so happiness happiness is a noun preference is a noun action is a noun tendency is a noun a noun contentment is a noun so these are all again some ways of identifying nouns in a sentence they can be made plurals with yes or yes so nouns galna now plural forms upayogisabodu usually idanna now common nouns athal mathra we can use you don't use it with proper nouns and of course we cannot use it with abstract nouns or any other kind collective nouns maybe collective nouns to a certain extent can be made plural house houses boy boys girl girls need needs the needs of the masses may conflict with expectations of the members of the legislative bodies so idanalla now needs masses expectations members bodies these are all plural forms of the noun tom hanks is very versatile tom hanks is the name of a person dogs can be extremely cute in this example the italicized words dogs is considered a noun because it names an animal it is my birthday the word birthday is a noun because it refers to an event so adu vand event na name marutte there are different types of nouns proper nouns always start with a capital letter and refers to specific names of persons places or things ivaga general name generic name is a common noun but specific to that person ivaga boy is a common noun agutte adhe satish is a proper noun agutte example volkswagen beetle shakey's pizza game of thrones so these are all proper nouns common nouns are the opposite of proper nouns they are just generic names of persons things or places generic and the general broad based examples car pizza parlor tv series even la common nouns again you have concrete nouns most of these concrete nouns are all common nouns example they refer to kinds of nouns which you can perceive through your five senses folder sand board pen bottle they are all concrete nouns because you can perceive them with your five senses abstract nouns 
Unlike concrete nouns, abstract nouns are those which can, you can't perceive through your five senses. Now, I do five senses in the now, it's not country the angala. Example happiness, grudge, bravery, grief. Ivella, now, unboves bodu venha, it's not now, kanal noda kagala, kainal mutta kagala. So these are abstract nouns. Then again, you have different the common nouns. Count nouns and uh, uncountable nouns are countable nouns and uncountable nouns. These uncountable nouns are also called mass nouns. Other than countable nouns, we just call it count nouns in short. It refers to anything that is countable. Countable nouns in TV. You can uh, count the number of students in the class. There are 60 students in the class. Andre, you student na count TV. Singular and plural form. E count nouns nali, you have singular form and plural form. Kitten, kittens, video, videos, ball, balls, boy, boys, girl, girls. You, you have the plural form. Mass nouns, the opposite of count nouns. Right? On the mass. Either na now, uh, one than the count madakagala. You can only measure it. Mass nouns are also called non-countable or uncountable nouns. They need to have counters to qualify them. Counters, Andre, kilo, one cup of coffee, or a bottle of water. Atara namge counters pego. Example, kilo, cup, meter of cloth. Of mass nouns or hour. Even la mass nouns. There is, you know, a lot of uh, students ask me this question. Ma stars na now insak agal valla stars count nouns sagata mass nouns sagata anta. What do you think? Do you think stars or count nouns or mass nouns? The very simple explanation: star stars. You have the plural form there. So because you have the plural form, obviously it is a count now maybe you cannot count all the stars in the sky but then if you have a constellation for example the great bear saptarishi mandala antivi ee saptarishi mandala dali seven stars ide yelu anta count maadidira alva so stars are also count nouns adhe thana money money count now na mass now na anta keltare Money in an events bodu, but now money ends the yen in a stivy. Other little currency in a stivy, coins in a stivy. You don't say one money, two monies, three monies, four monies at the herala. So money as such, the word money is a mass noun. You only count the currency that makes up the money. For example, rupees or dollars or whatever yens or whatever it is. So you say one rupee, two rupees, three rupees, four rupees. You don't say one money, two monies, three monies, four monies. Here Allah. So money is a mass noun. Only the currency that makes up the money is a count noun. Collective nouns refer to groups of persons, animals, or things. So when the this group has something in common. For example, you say class of students. Class uh, students, boys are bodu, girls are bodu, or a mixture of boys and girls are bodu. But still, they are all a class because they all have something in common. They are there to learn. Or kalili kosra bandira. So, ye kalili kosra bandira group of people na now class of students. Pride of lions. Faculty is a group of teachers. So, ye thara namge collective nouns kura irutte. Tina is a very stubborn child. She just stared at me and when I told her to stop. The largest slice is mine. We are number one. The italicized words in the sentences above are the pronouns in the sentence. So the next part of speech, obviously, you've already uh, come to the conclusion that the next part of this part of speech is Pronouns. So now nouns are mele now pronouns bagya matartivi. So ye pronouns nre ye na pa. Ili Tina is a very stubborn child. So now madhu Tina bagya matartivi. Tina anado obviously is a proper noun. It is a noun. It is a proper noun. So now Tina bagya matartai divi. But prati sentence nalli now Tina na Tina 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 anta now we cannot keep repeating. So we use a pronoun to replace the noun.
if you keep repeating the noun it sounds very awkward adu onthara kelake chanagirala so now pronoun adu badli noun ku badli ondu pronoun na use martivi very stubborn child she just stayed at me when i told her to stop alone and sorry tappag band bitide stayed at me when i told her to stop she is a pronoun her is a pronoun both she and tina Uh, sorry both she and her refer to tina we will go back to pronouns a little later a verb is what the noun does an action verb tells you that she dances so dances becomes the verb we can see a girl dancing linking or state of being verb tells you that the monster is ugly so here is is a verb this is a monster the verb shows action or being andre ondu sthiti either action irbodu athwa ondu sthiti for example i am a teacher i am is a sthiti that is my state action he ran through the forest running indicates movement it is a an action verb being he was sad this morning so avana sthiti ivata avana manasthiti hengittu avanu on sarpa bejar ittu action or doing words in a sentence the horse ran jump and kicked until it threw the re- uh, rider so illi ivella action verb they indicate some kind of movement some kind of action ran jumped kicked threw they are all action words most words verbs make sense in the blanks below he dash they that so he reads runs sleeps plays they play sleep sing dance ivalla action words action of or doing words in a sentence being verbs show being or state example she is a nice person and we are her friends so is and or or being verbs linking verbs linking verbs andre right? being verbs again be am is or was were been and being here am is or was were or the finite forms of the word been and being or the non finite forms action or doing words in a sentence being verbs show being or state change show time so that is the most important thing about a verb it changes to show today i'm on a bus and it goes past my house so here i am today so here it shows the time when today present and it goes past my house again it is in the simple present tense yesterday i was on a bus and it went past my house so ninne past action so what am becomes was goes becomes went so it changes to show time or tense the words that change are verb so when you change the time what you change in the sentence or the verbs complete verbs include helping verb sometimes we have uh, like in the progressive tense in the perfect tense we use the helping verbs or auxiliary verbs to give us a complete meaning for example they are sitting under a tree becomes the progressive tense or is the being verb or the uh, in this case it is the helping verb the auxiliary sit is the main verb helping verb and will shall may would should might ought to there need must these are always used as helping verbs they are never used as main verbs may be helping so these are always verbs idu bere yav tara use madlik sadhya illa but 
Sometimes they can be used as helping verbs. Sometimes they can be used as main verbs. Have, has, had, do, does, did, done, be, and is, or was, were, been, being. So these are always verbs. They are never used as any other part of speech. A pronoun is a short word that takes the place of a noun. Can be subject, he or she. Objects, him or her. Possessive, his or hers. Nobody, all, several, few. These are all indefinite pronouns. Again, one, one must obey one's parents. One is an indefinite pronoun. So now that brings us back to nouns. We so, we so what the fun, uh, a noun does like you know it names a person it names a place it names a thing, but in a sentence they function as the subjects and objects. In the same way, you also have the possessive form of nouns. For example, you can say this is Tina's book. Tina with an apostrophe yes is a possessive form of Tina. Can also be demonstrative. This book, this is my book. So again, this this can be used as a an article. Sorry, this can be used as a pronoun. It can also be used as an adjective. When I say this book, this becomes an adjective. When I say this is my book, this becomes a demonstrative pronoun. He, she, it. Always be sure the pronoun has a your referent. If you use they, be sure the reader knows who they are. So now, okay, yavaglo na pronoun use mardaga. A pronoun yau dena refer mardate. Na do na first to clear rak mention marbe ko. Sumne vee gagi they anta hela kagala. Pronoun takes the place of a noun. Suresh was studying for the midterm exam when he realized it was three o'clock in the morning. So he refers to Suresh. Specialized words take the place of nouns. So pronouns are specialized words. They take the place of nouns. Example, Akash gave Pooja stationery because he wanted her to write to him when she could. So here, Prakash and Pooja are two people. He refers to Pooja. Sorry, Prakash. Her refers to Pooja. Him is Prakash. She is Pooja. Often refer to people and have several forms. I, he, we, she, they, me, him, us, her, them. So these are the different forms of the pronouns. And apart from these, you also have you, it, this, that, who, what, someone, everyone, everything, anyone. So these are all different pronouns. Everyone is also a pronoun. May be used in the possessive, showing ownership and working like an adjective. Sometimes you can use a pronoun to function as an adjective. Her red car is faster than my old Ford, but their new Honda cost more than ours. So her red car, car is the noun. So her car, possessive. I, he, we, she, they, me, him, us, her, them. My, his, our, hers, theirs. The other forms are yours, it's whose. So these are all different forms of the pronoun. Me is a very stubborn child. She just stayed at me. And when I told her to stop, please, the and don't mind the and there, it is wrongly printed. The largest slice is mine, V or number one. Adjectives or the next part of speech is adjectives. And of course, in order to learn parts of speech, you need lots of practice. You can't just listen to a lecture on parts of speech and decide you know everything about parts of speech. It doesn't happen that way. You need to have lots of practice. Only then you will make parts of speech a part of your vocabulary. Adjectives or descriptive words used to modify or tell more about nouns and Pronouns. So they are the descriptive word. They describe a noun. They modify or qualify a noun. 
without colorful precise adjectives language would be pretty blah andre ontara bore agirutte nam adjective indane nam language language a stone colorful a stone interesting agirutte so nam adjectives e illa andre nam language ontara thumba seppe agirutte presenting a blue car a red car a light brown car there are so many cars if i simply say car it doesn't give you much information but if i say blue car red car brown car it gives you a lot more information the beautiful woman wanted a couple of pairs of shoes here beautiful refers to woman it modifies woman the rainy day made us even sadder rainy day what kind of day rainy day describe or modify only nouns so adjectives don't modify any other part of speech they only modify the noun and they answer questions like what kind or how many yes to means nothing tired means try to eat a large pie at two pizza parlors So now we have three tired teens. Teens are teenagers, teenage people, youngsters. So three is one adjective. Tired is another adjective. Hi. Large is one adjective. At two pizza parlors. So two here do adjective. Here in this uh, case, pizza is used as a what kind of parlor? A pizza parlor. So here pizza is used as an adjective in this sentence. How many teens? Three. What kind of teens? What kind of pie? Large. How many parlors? Two. What kind of parlors? Describe or modify only nouns. As our questions like what kind or how many. The noun markers a and the are always. these articles or noun markers are always adjectives because they are always found before a noun so these adjectives you can have any number of adjectives before a noun you can have any number of adjectives describing the, the same noun For example the long shiny black limousine built in front of the huge old mansion and a tall well dressed older gentleman so here we have so many different adjectives all grouped together long shiny black three different adjectives describing the same word limousine the huge old describing mansion a tall well dressed older four different adjectives describing gentleman we follow being verbs and describe the subject so being verbs are be am is or was were ee tara verbs na verbs aad mel barutte aadre no they they always refer back to the noun they modify the noun before these verbs for example the river is deep wide and cold here is is the being verb and deep wide cold all refer to river but the divers are brave and well trained divers or nouns or is the being verb brave well trained or both adjectives that describe the divers these writing them in front of the noun they modify so is not deep river wide river deep wide and cold river anta helbodu adhe tara brave and well trained trained divers anta helbodu so the, if you put them in front of the noun they still make sense article there are three articles a and and the articles are technically adjectives they are always used as adjectives the bicycle was not only red but shiny a yellow moon always appears in october an excellent student anil passed all his exams uh, and the adjectives the word order in the uh, of adjectives the general order of adjectives before a noun is the following opinion size shape 
condition of material purpose and then noun so it is usually in this order so opinion andre if i say something is uh, ugly for example the bag in this il kotta hage bag ee bag nodakke chanagilla ugly anta heladaga that is my opinion somebody else might think the bag is very nice think the bag is ugly so i put that first so that is the in the order of adjectives that usually comes first ad aad mele size big bag small bag ya thara bag ya thara the you know what describes the noun then the shape of the noun thin long round whatever it is then condition dirty see that is not my opinion it is you can see that it is dirty or it is very clean or whatever then age the bag may be old the bag may be new so age of the bag color of the bag red brown blue then pattern striped dotted flowers whatever is the pattern then origin where was this bag made in italy in france in india origin of the bag so indian bag material it could be cotton it could be leather it could be silk depending then purpose what do you use this bag for is it to carry your books or is it your handbag or is it a sleeping bag depends on the purpose so usually e order nalli navu adjectives na jodistivi before adjectives and now we normally have a determiner so this determiners are also adjectives a and the my your her they are all adjectives next is the adverb the adverbs again are very important though they are not an integral part of the sentence they are still very important because it describes an a verb it describes an adjective or it describes another adverbs tell how where when you ask the question how where when these are the questions that adverbs answer yesterday he ran quickly down town so yesterday when yesterday she ran quickly how did she run quickly where did she go downtown most commonly used adverb in english is very thumba very an a word na thumba use martivi very is always an adverb many adverbs end in ly quickly carefully slowly these are all adverbs Adverbs describe a verb. The little girl walked happily through the park. How does she walk? Happily. So walk is the verb. It describes a verb. The orphan hungrily ate the hot stew or soup. The orphan hungrily. How did he eat? Hungrily. Tum hasvin in the tinda. Adjectives describe verbs. Adjectives. Other adverbs. That's what adverbs do. She quickly ran to her extremely tired friend and gave him a very big hug. She answered very confidently. See here, ran is a verb. Quickly modifies ran. Tired is an adjective. Extremely modifies tired. Gave him a very big hug. Big adjective. Very adverb. Adi thara. She answered very confidently. Yaav thara answer madadlo. Tumba confidence in the answer madadlo. So confidently. is an adverb but very is also an adverb which describes confidently ran is verb tired and big or adjectives confidently is adverb adverbs answer the question how when where why under what conditions so these are some of the questions that you can ask to, uh, to identify adverbs soon the very able pilot confidently flew best and thus he almost crashed when soon where west how very confidently why thus what conditions almost often end in ly example extremely hungry animal howled eerily in the especially dark night so ends in ly extremely eerily especially these are some of the 
adverbs. Adverbs, they're always adverbs, these verbs, not often, here, almost, always, never, there. Always adverbs. Yaudi is Sandarba the Lu, E words na nibu sentence na nodre, a kan much kun other nine. Now part of speech ugly killa. So now that brings me to something that I've been wanting to tell you. Many of these words always um, you know they are they can be used as different parts of speech. For example, if I say something like round, what is the part of speech of round and heli kagala? Because these parts of speech or these verbs always you know, have a function to uh, play in a sentence. So he uh, in, uh, in a sentence, every single word in a sentence has a function. And depending on what function the word does in a sentence, you assign a particular part of speech. So other intade part of speech in the nam hing healthy be a sentence nali at yen kelsa madate in the note called healthy. So you cannot simply take a word randomly, one word in the gondo, round in part of speech and the healthy kagala. Because round na now be a stone very different parts of speech. If I say something like the ball is round, round is an adjective. Come round to my house, round becomes an adverb. So itara now bere bere one same word na bere bere part of speech again now use more bodo. But kill one word na now ade tara use more bodo. Ade part of speech al matra use more kam satya. For example, not very often here, almost always, never there. They're never used as any other part of speech except adverbs. Different types of adverbs are adverb of manner. This refers to how something or how an action something happens or how an action is done. So it refers yav thara yav riti what kind. Annie danced gracefully. How does she dance? Tumba graceful ag dance madatlo. Adverb of time always answers the question when she came yesterday. When did she come? Yesterday. So when? Yavaga. Adverb of place. This tells something about where something happens or where something is done. Answers the question where. Of course, I looked everywhere. Yel norde, yella kade norde. So everywhere is uh, an adverb which answers the question where. Adverb of degree. This states the intensity or degree to which a specific thing happens or is done. The child is very talented. The, uh, to what degree is the child talented? Very talented. Yes, matke talented, tumba talented. Conjunction is a short joining word. Next part of speech is conjunction. It is a joining word such as and, or, but, for, so, yet. These are some of the conjunctions. The function of a conjunction is to join words, phrases, and clauses. So words, phrases, clauses, na nawu, jodas daga nawu, conjunction use marthi. Slowly and carefully. Example. A red hat and a white shirt. No ticket, but he went anyway. So, really, and but they're all conjunctions. Manuel and Marisol loved school. You will go to school or you will fail. Nim school hogle beko atwa illa andre nino fail aktiya. I'm happy because I just got my check. And tumba santo shagi de yake because I got my check. It has been cloudy since the morning. Next is the preposition. Conjunctions, of course, it's not all that difficult because they just join two words, two phrases, two clauses, two sentences. So this is very easy to pick out conjunctions from a sentence. This is against slightly Position shows a position relationship between two or more nouns or pronouns. Andre pre position pre andre before munche. Now, e word na yavaglu noun munche hakti. 
she walked through the door into the room here to is a preposition into is another preposition the relationship can be spatial as in the sentence above or a sentence below for example after the track meet he was very tired after yavaga after so time the relationship could be with regard to space or with regard to time you have some uh, positions here in out after before up down under over into on through by from so these are some of the prepositions it is not an exhaustive list there are just few examples a prepositional phrase is a group of words describing things which starts with a preposition and ends with a noun or pronoun for example you have on the bus the man on the bus with a hat on his head looked at me and turned toward the window the man on the bus on is the preposition the bus then position a hat on preposition his head looked verb at preposition me pronoun and turned turned as verb toward is preposition the window is again a noun the memory clue the rabbit went dash the hollow log so rabbit went dash so rabbit hollow log ಒಳಗೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಥ್ರೂ ಅಂಡ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಹೋಯ್ತಾ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ವೆಂಟ್ ಥ್ರೂ ದಿ ಹಾಲೋ ಲಾಗ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ಬೇಕು ಇನ್ ಟು ದ ಹಾಲೋ ಲಾಗ್ ಡಿಪೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ದ ರಾಬಿಟ್ ಡಿಟ್ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಅದರ್ ಪ್ರೆಪೋಸಿಷನ್ ಅಟ್ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ಟು ಆನ್ ಇನ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಆನ್ ಟು ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ಓವರ್ ಅಗೇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಅಮಂಗ್ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಪ್ರೆಪೋಸಿಷನ್ಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಪ್ರೆಪೋಸಿಷನ್ ಸಿಂಪಲಿ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿ ಮೆಮೊರೈಸ್ಡ್ ಸೊ ಇದನ್ನ ನೀವು ರಟ್ಟ ಹೊಡಿಬೇಕಷ್ಟೇ ಇದನ್ನ ಏನು ಮಾಡಕ್ಕಾಗಲ್ಲ ಅದನ್ನ ಬಳಸ್ತಾ ಬಳಸ್ತಾನೆ ಇದ್ರದ್ದು ಯೂಸ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಲರ್ನ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಲಿ ದ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ವಿತ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಇಸ್ ದಾಟ್ ಹಿ ಸ್ಲೀಪ್ಸ್ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ದ ಡೇ ಅಂಡ್ ಸ್ಪೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ನೈಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ವಿತ್ ಫಾರ್ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಪ್ರೆಪೋಸಿಷನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ದ ಮೋರ್ ಯು ಯೂಸ್ ದೆಮ್ ಇನ್ ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸಸ್ ದ ಮೋರ್ ಈಸಿ ಇಟ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯು ಟು Uh, it becomes a part of your vocabulary prepositions so show position or direction the cat was on the table and the other stationary it was sitting on the table the dog was under the table uh, table kelage ittu some common prepositions for at with from on under between upon to above in into up toward behind of these are some prepositions again you have a uh, list of prepositions by no means exhaustive there are any number of prepositions and again these prepositions are slightly tricky because many of these can be used as adverbs also so you need to know exactly how it is used as a preposition one main clue is if the word is if the word has a noun following it it has to be a preposition if i simply say kaben in is a adverb but if i say um, the the children are in the classroom in is a preposition because the classroom which is a noun follows the word in interjection it is a word of shock or surprise ಇದು ಒಂಥರ sudden emotion torsatte yaranu nimu jora gittare aa antira interjection agutte nimge ya supposing your principal says tomorrow is a holiday you say wow yeah antira interjection agutte it's usually used by itself and is followed by an exclamation point so idu kyavaglu ondu exclamation point irutte so this interjection usually has an exclamation usually not always because again we have two kinds of interjections we have strong interjections and weak interjections a strong interjection admele exclamation point hakle beku but weak interjection admele sumne ond kama haktivi o weak interjection antivi examples are wow cool awesome these are some of the strong interjections 
what out? Where did this rocket come from? That is an interjection. Okay, what out? Interjection. Interjections are expressive words. Wow. You knock that ball out of the park. Wow. Strong interjection. Oh, you really need to take care of yourself. Oh, is a weak interjection. Huh? What did you say? Huh? Is it again an interjection? Ah, now I understand the problem. Ah, is a weak interjection. The meaning of a word in the sentence determines to what part of speech it belongs. So if the you uh, determine how it is used in the sentence. The same word may be sometimes one part of speech, sometimes another. It, uh, how, now what the word does in a sentence determines what part of speech it belongs to. The function or use which determines which part of speech a particular word belongs to. So it is only the function of the word or how it is used in a sentence that only then you know you make you see how it is used in a sentence and then you say it is a noun it is a pronoun it is an uh, adverb adjective whatever it is about for example can be used as an adverb or a preposition as an adverb about modifies the word as a preposition it connects a noun or pronoun with some other word in the sentence for example they wanted about looking for a place to rest so they wandered about. Here the word about modifies the verb wandered. So he wandered. So Andre verb So now about modifies wandered. So about is an adverb. There was something affable about likable. The ishtopadanta quality. So something affable about him him is a pronoun so about is a preposition and you have many uh, i've only given you a few examples you have many such words the plane flew above the clouds above is a preposition read the above sentence again above is adjective because it qualifies sentence sentence is a no <clears throat> seen from above the cars looked tiny seen from where above answers the question where so i've got i've got hardly any money any here is a <coughs> determiner most of these determiners are uh, many of them if not all of them they are adjectives she hardly spent any of the money any here is pronoun i don't want any more more is an adverb any is also an adverb she works as a teacher he ran as fast as he could as is an adverb he could not buy a house as he was poor as here is a conjunction it's a subordinate conjunction the violation of traffic rules here, find is a verb. He paid a heavy fine. Fine is noun. The weather is fine. Tragitu. Fine. Adjective. The cricket match was finely balanced throughout. Finely and thakpati devala. So it becomes an adverb. Ill. She seems ill. Adjective. Don't talk ill of others. Ill is an adverb. The system is plagued with many ills. Ill is noun in the sentence. I have no will, ill will against him. Ill is adjective. The table is six feet long. Long is adjective. On long into the night. Adverb. I'm longing to see you again. Long here is verb. You must familiarize yourself with the different parts of speech discussed in this article. Because you're among the most fundamental concepts that you will encounter throughout your study of grammar. So, you know, parts of speech are new. So, familiarize an in-depth topic will not only make you a better writer, 
but an effective communicator as well. So, bariyadukkunu chanak baratte, maathalikku chanak baratte. Niwo, ye parts of speech sarpa chana kalt kundre. So again, we have a, an overview of this parts of speech. One small summary thara samshipta vagi parts of speech vagi helti vi verb. It can be an action word or it can state a, it can be a state or the sthiti. Be, have, do, like, work, sing, can, must, even la uh, examples. My dog is a collie. I like to play fetch with her. Now, names a thing or person or even place. Pen, dog, work, music, town, London, teacher, John. They're all nouns. This is my dog. He lives in my house. We live in London. Adjective describes a noun. A, an, the, 69. Some good, red, well, interesting. So these are some of the adjectives. My dog is big. I like big dogs. Adverb describes a word, adjective or adverb. Quickly, silently, well, badly, very, really. <coughs> My dog eats quickly. When he is very hungry, he eats really quickly. Pronoun replaces a noun. I, you, he, she, some. Tara is Indian. She's beautiful. Pron uh, preposition links a noun to another word. To, at, after, on, but, or some of the examples. We went to school on Monday. School is a noun, so to is preposition. Monday is a noun, on is preposition. Conjunction joins clauses or sentences or words. And, but, or, nor examples. I like dogs and I like cats. I like cats and dogs. So cats and dogs. I like dogs, but I don't like cats. But interjection, short exclamation, sometimes inserted into a sentence. Oh, ouch, hi, well. Ouch, that hurts. Hi, how are you? Well, I don't know. Well is a weak interjection. The last part is, if you, there's a small poem. Of course, I've got all this from the uh, internet. So I Googled some of it and that is where, you know, some of this material has come from. Every name is called a noun as field and fountain, street and town. In place of noun, the pronoun stands as he and she can clap their hands. The adjective describes a thing as magic wand or bridal ring. <coughs> the verb means action. Something done and write and jump and run. How things are done, the adverbs tell as quickly, slowly, badly, well. The preposition shows relation as in the street or at the station. Conjunctions join in many ways sentences, words, or phrase and phrase, or phrase and phrase. So, or and, and conjunction. The interjection cries out, hark, I need an exclamation mark. So this is about passive speech. I hope you have you know, uh, learned something from this one hour that we spent on passive speech. In your exam, you will only be asked to, a sentence will be given, a few words in the sentence will be underlined. You will only be asked to name the passive speech of the underlined word. Astay. Nivu, ye bhyavya thara nivu ka nouns nali namge common noun, proper noun, avella nivu bariyad beka gila. You just say it is a noun, you just say it is an adverb. We don't need to talk about adverb of manner, time, avella nivu necessity illa. But if you know all this, it becomes easier for you to use it in your, uh, you know, when you speak in your day to day activities. When you write about it, when you talk about it, you will be, it will make it easier for you to use this. You know, the flow of language comes more easily if you know your parts of speech. So, with this, I conclude my today's session. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day. Thank you, Hilbert.
Well, thank you, Dita. Um, last a little bit. Last a little bit. Last a Thank you. Martha, thank you. 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 I don't know if you can see the video. I don't know if you can see the video. I don't know if you can see the video. 